Shut up and sit down. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Nurse Playing Podcast. My name is Eric Silva. With me, as always, my co host, Jose Romero. Happy Nerd Day. It's actually a Saturday. I'm recording it yeah. a little bit later, but hey, Saturday, Thursday, it's still a Nerd Day, right? Who gives a there shit? was so much nerd stuff to go through, we had to wait a little longer, and that's the story we're sticking with. It's a yeah, comment. That's what we're going to deal with. I plus, we want to do a, it's just like our, our gift to all the fathers out there. Tomorrow is oh, Father's Day, Eric. Absolutely. Happy Father's Day to you. Thank you very much, sir. And I do have a gift for all the nerf, all nerd dads out there, which I will reveal to you a little bit, a little piece of, of just good, genuine advice from right here. And it will tie uh, into one of our stories, and I'll from, get to that from, in a second. From, from, a, from a not nerd dad to all the nerd dads? Is that what yeah, you're saying? It's, it's advice really for all dads. But, you know, we're speaking out particularly to nerds dads. Because, all right. You know, yeah, I figured you're not nerdy, probably not watching the show. So, which is fair enough. <laughs> but that being said, uh, yeah, man. So, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got some boys we'll get into. Two episodes that we, you know, we haven't spoken about. Mm-hmm. Little Miss Marvel. And some bad stuff, which we'll get to that more. <laughs> <early. laughs> but we're, we're going to stay with that thing. We're, we're going to stay with the bad stuff first. Okay, so that being said here, uh, apparently the nerd gods don't want us to see the Flash. I think they've made that abundantly clear because we've talked about Ezra Miller before. He had his issues in Hawaii and getting arrested and blah, blah, blah. Not the end of it. <laughs> You know, he had more issues. Uh, and I guess it's kind of a weird story, but all alleged, you know, just be fair, that I guess uh, these parents of this young girl, whatever it was, he, they would claim he brainwashed her or whatever. Which I think they met when she was 12. He, he was already above 18. And, you know, I guess... I believe the term they used was groomed, but groomed allegedly. Or whatever, alleged or whatever the case is, and there's uh, abuse claims now, and then, you know, he was off with her in London by herself, and I guess he was paying for his college, and now, whatever, all this, you know, the court had a several papers, and now he's disappeared. He's out of here. He, with now the girl. he disappeared, but he was, he before he deleted his Instagram account, he was sending taunts yeah. to the cops. He just like, didn't give a fuck. It's, it's one thing to co-star next to Michael Keaton. It's another thing to act like a Michael Keaton villain. <laughs> I mean, like he, someone who should be fighting him. Like, he was you know, so like, inspired by Michael Keaton, like, I guess. It's very uh, much kind of a weird... Yeah, and, and hence he's deleted his account. I don't really know that even the option. How, how, do, how would he go about it? It's, it? Like, how do you go from, like, the... Your 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 stars on the rise. You get your you've got the Snyder verse Flash. You're in Fantastic Beasts. You're in two major Warner Brothers uh, uh, franchises, and to just go, hey, this is all great, but wouldn't it be cool if I had nothing and then do this? Yeah, break the monotony. It's like what the hell? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't. It's it's a weird story. Like I said, I don't know what's true. I'm not here. You know, I don't want to be here to accuse him or anything. Listen, this story's out there. Of course, him running away doesn't look good. Or whatever doesn't look doesn't good. look good for whatever that's worth, but yeah, taunting you on Instagram and then the leading around Instagram does not work. That, that doesn't look it's good. Not a- but listen, and, and it's funny how WB just remain quiet as can be. They haven't said a word, which is surprising. And I guess now it's too late from the same thing because no. <laughs> I, I don't know what, what what can they say. They should have said something you know months ago for that matter. And listen, a Flash is still a year away, and I kept saying that. Listen, people got short memories; they really do. But I, I, short is one thing, but I feel like this is gonna, this, this is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Oh, this is gonna last, this is gonna linger because I, I'm sure inevitably he'll be found or not, I don't know, or whatever, and it's gonna be some big hubbub about this, and who knows? There's probably more to the story than we even, even know about. I'm sure there is, but I, man, this, this what I've is seen, it? Like, they can't release this movie now. I don't see how they do it. I don't. What is it about Zack Snyder to look at somebody and, Every fifth option, he goes, this should be fine. And it's a hard, like, right now, we're looking at Ezra Miller and Amber Heard. Both oh, of them, God. Zack Snyder hires. That's true. Both of them. <laughs> and just Well, let, let's be fair. W, one of the brothers, the people at DC, and he re- he recommends that. So. He, he recommends to, to be fair, it. I mean, brothers, I mean, like, listen, we're cool with that. I don't put on Zack Snyder. He gave us Gaga Dog, who's been clean. Jason Momoa has been clean. To be fair, so. Uh, I'm gonna say all the Jason. I mean, this is all the Snyder picks, but 
That's two for like eight. True. That's it's two more than most <laughs> directors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know. You, what, took, I, you, you hired a groomer and a bed shitter. I mean, <laughs> really, that's not a good. Yeah. This is, it's just, I don't know what to even think about. And like I said, I just don't know what they're going to do. I don't think we're seeing this movie. I, at this point, dump it on HBO next year and call it a day. I just, they're not going to be shooting. They're, it's just too expensive to be shooting. I just, I don't know. I, I it's you, you gotta hire you gotta hire the the guy who does deep fakes for Disney, and you gotta put the other actor's face on. That. That's the only way out. You gotta do that. It's the only yeah, it, way it's, out. It just, it's just it's just. And, and I said, but this is not the last we heard of this. But I will say this: this is my my gift to all, oh, well, all dads out there. I got my gift ready here. Okay. Gift of advice. Right. Sure. I don't know what happened, what's going on with the story, whatever, right? A lot of allegations, back and forth, whatever. There was something that was sure. said about when she was 14, she flew overseas to be with him or whatever. Or some, right. whatever the case. So I'll say this, you know, and I don't want to put the blame on the father, the parents. I don't want to do that. However, sure. let's be but, fair. You know, we don't victim blame here. Right. But, but as a but. dad, why the fuck do you let your 14-year-old daughter by herself fly overseas with some guy who's above 18 who you don't know shit about? Not saying it's her fault, but dads, but do yeah, not I, let I, your fourteen uh-huh. year old girl fly yeah. alone mm-hmm. overseas. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. What are the parents and all this? Again, not the, not blaming them, but there's some culpability if all this is true. That hey, it's, it goes around, right? Like, Come if on, your guys. daughter is Come like on. eighteen and she's an adult, you can go. Listen, I can't stop you from true. flying overseas. I just hope that the 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 18 years of parenting has stuck 62 percent of it there Fair number. and i'll consider it a win but when you're 14 they just got out of like really publicly opening like in cartoons like they can finally go like oh i don't i don't just do cartoons good <laughs> but like six months ago that was it so like how do you just go like oh yeah you just finished watching star versus the forces of evil yeah go hang out with this 18 year old dude in a country yeah. i'm Half at least literally. a five hour flight five home. six where I'm not, I'm not sure where they live I, I don't know but whatever it was at least six hours five, whatever right to live in the west coast even longer um yeah I, I don't i mean again it's an excuse what happened i get it i'm not trying to say that but again listen come on guys dad don't what you can't let you go you know, trot around across the world by themselves you can't i'm sorry you're, actually right. you're asking you're for actually trouble right. you're supposed to protect them from shit like you're this. Be trouble if any time your kid goes out of your house that she they can't return in less than forty five minutes. It's already trouble. <laughs> that, you're right. It's, it's already, already unless trouble. of course at the as supervision a parent, as is, a former yeah. as a former child troublemaker. <laughs> forty five uh, more than forty five minutes. It's up to no good. That's just the way it is. Past forty five to a kid's like Vegas. Whatever happens out there stays there. You know what I'm saying? That's, um, what, it is. Yeah. That's what it is. And, <laughs> and by the way, I just want to say a special shout out to all the Snyder Bros who voted Flash breaking into the Speed Force to become the greatest movie moment of all time. Thank you for putting Ezra Miller in the same ranks as, like, uh, 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 I'm drawing a blank. Usually great references, but, uh, uh, Polanski or, uh, 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 what's, uh, um, uh, he's a a comic who makes a bunch of movies, uh, 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 everything you were, huh? Dan Cook? No, Um. Dan Cook. Uh, very nebbish. Oh uh, he God. married his daughter, Sunyi. Uh, oh it was Sunyi, I remember. Oh, what's uh, what's Woody, Woody Allen. Thank you, Woody Allen. So, yes. Thank you, yes. Ezra Meller is now on the same Oscar level as Woody Allen and Rowan Polanski. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Bros, for making that, that possible. Uh, because oh yeah, it's, it's... we needed to put this, we need to make superhero movies real. They're serious. <laughs> Cinema. Maybe now. Maybe now Scorsese will respect it. <laughs> maybe so, you know I got to get in this game. Uh, maybe he'll reshoot the Flash for us because yeah. <laughs> I want to see this movie now. As I like, now, I'm just curious about the film now. Um, yeah, this is not the end of the story. I'm sure we're gonna talk about this down the oh, road because it's the more's coming out. And, so yeah, far, more's coming out. I guarantee it. So oh, whatever, fucking Ezra. Um, let's stay with the bags. I want to get the bad out of the way. This is when we celebrate Father's sure. Day, right there. So that being said. Obi Wan. Let's just start with Obi Wan. It's it's we usually wait to the kind of towards the end of the show for this, but I want to get the bat out of the way. So obviously my <laughs> feelings of this show have been known at this at this point. I will say this. I know. I know. This episode was better than the last. It was. That doesn't say a whole lot because the last one was for no. me it was really bad. So yeah, dude, I'm about to give up, dude. I mean, there's only one left. I'm gonna watch it, but I just 
my hands are in the air like all right of all, whatever first of all i'm sorry that obi-wan has been so uneven because we've talked about like we're really excited. Moon Knight and Obi Wan, both are two are like really favorite characters. Like, and it, we're like, it can't. Uh, we Deborah Child was very excited to be part of the project. We're like, this is the show. Hopefully, the show to beat. Like, this was going to be right. the way in. If anything had a, as a, a potential to be as good as Mandalorian, it was Obi Wan. Right. Yeah, I totally agree. And and it started. On, and, on, and like I said, it started off well, right? I like the love first, the first episode, episode was really super good. Solid. Like, man, this is what we're talking about. Yeah, I think little dip back up, but it's been done a downhill trajectory since episode three. And I, I listen, I love the Vader stuff. So I'll give you know, it's not all bad this last episode because Vader's cool as shit. It is what it is. I, right? it, that it, Vader it, stuff it, sold that episode. It did. You, you take that so away. Hard. This is a trick. I mean, he saved that episode for me and just really bad. But I mean, he was that was cool. That the shifting and he's pretty powerful. Whatever, it's fine. I don't, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna cry about that. Uh, stopping the ship and whatever. I don't know why he didn't stop the second one, but you know. I, I, well, because I, 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 I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because the force is, even though you can use the force, you have it's like flexing a muscle. You gotta. I, 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 that's why I was assuming, but at least they should have kind of conveyed that a little bit. Maybe I don't know. I, I just it's odd. I get it. Believe me, that's not a huge thing. I'm just kind of joking around, but it's just funny because I, I people brought it up. How can we even do the second one? fair it's fair <laughs> kind of like why didn't he turn off the fire after he threw obi-wan right right like, like oh yeah you're right it's a really good idea yeah because obviously but that's that, but i'll start with that scene because that's the best part of the movie just like, with him fighting um what's your face he, uh, he, he's uh, just, uh sir third sister yeah brother, yeah right? he's just a bad i mean he's just such a body he didn't even take his lightsaber uh, there's no knees like i got dude it. that was that was cool so that was like, cool i get credit me and my buddies literally when i was watching it i was like i've had conversations at comic book stores like does a Jedi even need to, if he's strong enough, oh. does he even need to take out his lightsaber to, if he's getting strong enough, force stuff? Because especially after you saw, <clears> uh, <throat> and it led, led to a conversation in Force Awakens when uh, Kylo Ren stops the laser blast. Oh, yeah, like, that was cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was badass. If they can, if, if they can, is that the level? Like, what can you do? So he and him seen, we've literally had taught, I remember, like, it blew my mind they, when I was in college, community college, I don't want to brag. Um, <laughs> and, and I worked at a comic book store. Uh, there, we had talks about could the force catch lightsabers, and it was bad. So seeing that, I was like so excited. I was like that's awesome. Yeah, that was so so like. I mean, it was even an extension of what happened previously in the episode when Reva tried to cut that dude down, and uh, the, the 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 Grand Inquisitor caught her saber, yeah. so it only like burned. So like it's an extension of that, and I was like, that's all. That was super. Dude, that, that was yeah. cool. That was like, yeah, that's awesome shit. Yeah. So yeah. again, get credit. Credit is due. Like I said, it wasn't all bad. It was was better than last week. That part. Was what did you think of the, the flashback episodes? The flashback portion oh, of the man. episode. Though. I was indifferent. I mean, I didn't care about. I know people complain. I didn't care about the. He looked like he was like he looked like a, right. a very old, very old, old teenager. Uh, maybe him, I let fly alone like, to London, because um, he's, <laughs> he's <hanging. laughs> but uh, it was fine. I mean, it was, I guess it was cool seeing him, but there was no nothing new that we know. We know, right. and that seems like okay. I get it. He's overzealous, over aggressive. Okay, I, we knew that stuff, right? There's no new revelations. I don't. I would better off just giving us a quick scene of that, and then some other stuff of them somewhere else. I would like to see that more. So, I don't know. Would, would, the, would the scene would have been better if while they were fighting, they referenced, uh, like, other adventures or stuff like that we may have seen them on? So, they'd have been like, oh, cool, like, it's this. I mean, granted, that moment was supposed to be before uh, the Clone Wars right. or Attack of the Clones. Yeah. So, which is the only time we ever saw them in that level. Sure. It would have been cool if they had like, uh, like just kind of like, if you remember before the series started, they took all of the of the of the prequel trilogy and basically condensed into one awesome looking trailer. You're like, if you saw, <laughs> based on that, you're like, oh man, the prequel trilogies are amazing. Right, right. And it's like, no, it's not. But like this cut up is incredible. And, and I think so. To that point, I'll say this because and this we both complained about this last episode where there was no. After they, after the beginning of episode four, right? He just fought Obi Wan uh, and Vader in episode three, and obviously, and there was no follow up to that. He just was in the, the tank and a couple of dreams, and that's it, right? He didn't really kind of dig deep into how, how he was feeling. Scenes like sure. this, and then and then him going through him together and having a good relationship would have illustrated more how he's feeling because now Vader is who he is now. If I, that would have served the story a little bit better and kind of brought that whole more emotional punch. 
as opposed yeah. to in the fighting scene, which we've seen before, and nothing more than just a kind of sort of story because oh, the you know this, oh, this, his plan was derived from I guess that moment or whatever something similar. It just didn't work. It, it just it should have been a lot better. So that that was fine. I, I didn't hate the scene. I just what I was indifferent. I'll say this going back to the Vader scene because I love lightsabers. Who doesn't? Sure. Who does? And this show almost ruined them for me because apparently lightsabers are fucking worthless. They're worth it. They look nice. They're pretty, but everybody except for Kwai Khan Jin, he's the only one, can get stabbed with a lightsaber, guts in there, and survive. Because apparently that's what keeps on happening. I don't understand well, that. I don't. And, right, and, and right. I don't know why Vader leaves her alive. I, I don't get that either. It's just God. It's just all these. Ugh, it's, it's it's infuriating. It just doesn't make any sense. I have I have an idea about this. I have an idea about this. First of all, with the second Inquisitor, or I mean the Grand Inquisitor, apparently it's two stomachs. So, <laughs> fine. Maybe three, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you know what? It is canon because they reference it in Clone Wars, the animated series. So they didn't pull out of their ass. I will. Fair enough. I'm like, that is, that is, <laughs> you're like, how can we keep this guy alive? He goes, did you guys know he has two stomachs? I do now. I mean, I don't know if he can live with two, but <laughs> it's such an odd thing, right? Um, so, I get that. But with Reva, she also got stabbed in the stomach by Anakin when she was a kid. Say, twice, or she was twice. So maybe, maybe, just maybe. She already has had those parts replaced, like robot parts, but like, kind of like Fennec Shen. And so maybe that's what it is. That's the only thing I could if, think if of. If they this episode, I, I was like, okay, fine. I can deal with it. But or, I don't know. Or, I don't know. or because of Star Wars, Vader stabbed her in the exact same place, but there's already a hole. <laughs> uh, what luck. Uh- <laughs> oh. Thanks, the Force. <laughs> oh, maybe he's such a badass. Maybe he did. Uh, but yeah, so that was that is weird. Uh, but again, but I, I don't know why he left her. Like that didn't. That just to me, this it just seemed like Vader kills anybody just because you know they did something wrong and, and he choke him out and then let, lets her live after he, which he was aware, was betraying him and try to kill. It just doesn't add up. It doesn't make but sense. If he if he stabbed her Loose and then end. like he cut her her hands off or something like anything, that, like something to, like, anything. Sure, right. That would have been like. Oh wow, he really like I, one way or the other. You're finished. He's killing her or he's punishing and, her. I can deal with either one, but not. He's just, okay, he's still alive. Let me get out of it. It's loose, I, loose end guy. I just I don't understand it. It's just the whole and here, and look. Here's here's uh, the. I, I hate to talk about other shows out there that do what we do. Obviously, many more years ahead of us <laughs> and everything. But I was watching Red Letter Media. Mm-hmm. Big fan. By the way, guys, all going from uh, from Rich to Jay to uh, just uh, uh, Mike up. You guys are great. Um, they person they they redid a review of four episodes of of a of a of Obi Wan. At the end, they said the consensus was this: it's a bad show, but it's better than Star Trek TV, <laughs> and they like it. Because it's cheap, but you could they're making the most of the cheapest, so it reminds them of early Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> and they know it's bad, but they still like it and they feel bad for liking it. <laughs> That's so just, it it is, is, I can live with that. I like that. Rich Evans I put it best, he goes, It's pretty okay. <laughs> that, that's it. I, that's generous. And I got I got I gotta give credit credit zoo. This show is pretty okay. I don't have the word. I just and, and I don't know. I, I can sit and complain about the show all day long. I don't want to do that. And I just this not was not an Obi. It's not an Obi Wan show anymore. It really isn't. He's just it was, it's more of a Reva show than an Obi Wan right, show. She, I think she's had almost as much screen time. That's I feel like and, almost and as much screen to, time. She had more to do than he did. It's just okay. She's more determined. She has. He, a, yeah, he's just there his, reacting. He's just okay. Um, I gotta he, go here. It's true. Okay. It's true. Now here's the thing. Um, I like. I've always liked Obi Wan as a character, uh, just because he was the one who, to me, almost had a personality. Like every Jedi is very calm oh, I and got cool. You. Okay. Fair. But he was the one who, like, there was always illusions that he was cooler than what we're getting in the show. Like oh, even in in Attack of the Clones, where he knew uh, Dexter Drexter, uh, who owned the diner, and that guy was connected. Like, this, if they're friends. That means you got to be pretty cool, one way or the other, to be friends with this guy who's not going to try to constantly screw you over if he if you if he right. knows he's only being used as a tool. So 
if you watch the animated series and you watch the, the movies, there's always the illusion that like, oh man, you just miss Obi Wan being cool. But trust me, he totally is. No, yeah, and you're right. And this show right. doesn't give you any of those. It doesn't give you the feel that he used to be cool. It's just That's very what, much God, like a. And, and, and I know it's. I know it's subtle. I get it. I understand subtlety. I I know what you're going for. I just don't think it's paced well, and the inconsistencies in the inability to chase small children, or <laughs> how to, uh, or how to, or shoot. How, to uh, or how to shoot, um, or why Vader knows how to kill regular people, but as soon as he has the Force, he's like, oh, is this how it happens? That's like, true. All of a sudden, there. yeah, he's missing nice guy. I just, I don't. It's just, yeah, I don't. It's it, those things. And if I, I, I really feel once again, I feel that this was a really good two hour and 15 minute movie. Absolutely. That, yeah, and then that, they yeah. blew it out to six. I think when it's fine. Yeah, and it's, I, and think, I think a two hour movie would have been so much better. Even if, even if it's just in Disney plus, I would have taken it, but absolutely. Yeah, cause I, I, absolutely. I'm curious to see what, like, what, how this is going to end. I, I, I don't have any, you know, <laughs> anything to think it's going to end well, but whatever it could end well, but it doesn't matter. Here's what I would have, what I would have done too, just because I, I did like, what they were trying to do, not how they did it, but right, execution of the problem. If, the show. Well, of the, of if the they would have had the fight between Obi Wan and Anakin from the prequel era, start the series and end the series. So every episode is a little extra moment of that, of that, of that, of that fight. So in each moment of the fight, it parallels a moment in that episode. That would have been great. That would be interesting. Yeah, that would have worked. That would have been really, really yeah. good. Like, think about like in episode one, uh, Obi Wan does not want to get involved, and in this training, maybe the whole thing that starts off at the beginning is that Anakin says, "I'm ready to be a Jedi." He's like, "No, you're not. You're not ready yet." And he was like, "So you have that both thing. He's just denying. I'm not. I don't want to get involved. You're not ready to be a Jedi." And maybe in both cases, he was right. Yeah, you know, and then have those parallels and that's the kind of moments through. i wish there was more of right even if right you can do it just in this episode fine do it just in this episode it should have done last episode but whatever but yeah stuff like that it's just again because now we're moving away from obi-wan and that's the problem right it's it's it's, it's start off as an obi-wan show right and then slowly just becomes something else and and yeah this is important and this is better than Boba fed sure i guess <laughs> oh i mean it it, it, it is it, 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 it is it is if, but if if boba fett is the bottom and Mandalorian is the top. Obi Wan is really in the middle, and it sucks because Obi Wan is such an interesting yeah. character, and Hugh McGregor is such a great actor that for it to be just the middle is sort of like how we talked about when we watched The Matrix. It either has to be the best movie right. or the worst movie. Okay. It can't just be, can be an middle. okay movie. Right. It doesn't. Work. And we're getting an okay series, yeah. and that's the biggest problem. Yeah, because and, and for me, it's a little bit below okay, but whatever. Either way, it's not a great show. It's not a, not the worst show I've ever seen. Obviously not. Uh, just more disappointing because this is a property that I was looking forward to. So I'm gonna react a certain way, like you would have with me, right? Um, and I feel like yeah. uh, 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 Ewan McGregor is just as a compelling and dynamic as an actor okay. as Oscar Isaac, and but the fact that the one show leaned into a guy's ability to carry a scene to do everything mm -hmm. and another guy is being held back because of the constraints of the script and then telling them this is who you are you're yeah. it's almost like you're sitting on a million dollars but you're only using it as a chair so you're saying, literally I, sitting on it you're I, like I, dude I, I, it's I'm right so there is what the other script would have looked like i, I have a feeling oh, it yeah. probably would have i mean it would have been darker because i said that but i think that would have served this story better if it would have been darker I, I, i'm assuming Absolutely. by dark it means him going through the struggle with Vader and all this, him being alive, which is interesting stuff. That's what's absolutely, that's and that's the stuff they kind of maybe are skidding away from, and that, that's that's the problem. Um, but listen, we'll talk about the ending. I, I have no hopes for it. Maybe it ends okay. Whatever. I, I whatever. I'm I, I'm hoping that the ending is if I can get so. I, unfortunately, I would put every Obi Wan ep episode one. I give it like a seven point five. Episode two, three, and four. I give like a seven. This episode, I feel like I want to give it a 7.6. Oh, you're way too generous. Wow. Because <clears> the, <throat> the Vader stuff was so cool. The Vader stuff was good. But once again, am I judging it just because, like, oh, that's an awesome YouTube clip for me to watch? Or am I taking and, the And that's whole... the thing. And I mentioned that thing when I started with the thread. I'm not sure if I liked it because it was a good episode because Vader was all over the place and he's cool as shit. Right? I, I don't know. Maybe. 
I don't, I'll, I'm not rewatching, but if I were to rewatch it, I would probably lean towards more than this. It's not good. <laughs> as opposed to, you know, the so going to figure out that right, the Vader's like, done. I seen it. Okay, now let's settle it and watch it again. Oh no, it's just if, not episode. <laughs> if there's a brilliant editor out there, after all six episodes are out, if you could do like a master cut two hour version of the series, I guarantee you, like this is great. It'd be tough. This is I everything think, I've wanted. It'd be t- I think it'd be okay. I, I, there's not enough there from the draw from to make this really, really good. This is not. Um, I'm sure it could be better. I, I, then what I, will, getting. I will challenge a, a public challenge after episode six of Obi Wan is going out. You know how people did like re edit um, yeah. Phantom Menace, yeah. and it was like, really, give me the re edit, make this Obi Wan movie into a two hour and 15 minute movie. And I guarantee I, you, you could do it. I think you could do it. This is yeah. perfectly doable. I'm not, I'm not good with editing, but if someone else is out there, I know you could do it. And they have all this extra footage because <laughs> it's six hours. Gonna take six condensed yeah, to right. fifteen. You can do it, guys. Figure out, someone figure it out, please. Give us something good for Obi Wan. But yeah, let, let, we'll talk about the ending next week. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm glad it's the last week because I, ugh, I'm already like I'm kind of over it. Um, positivity. Let, let's move towards the positive side of the news. The good stuff, the interesting stuff, anyway. Marvel, right? They're not always great, but they always give us good stuff. We got news from them. We got Thunderbolts coming out officially yeah um, director jack uh schreier if i'm saying it right it's kind of a new car he, he hasn't done a whole lot doesn't mean anything but a lot yeah, of music videos yeah a lot of music videos up nothing no not a few a future uh a film or you know big budget whatever project tv or other ones um did he do that independent movie uh charlie and the robot he, he, did, like some, he did some small stuff but not like yeah right not, yeah not they got a bunch films, of a couple right? of awards yeah, and accolades yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so I mean, he's got promise obviously listen if he's tapped because he's got some kind of they, they believe in what he can do fine fair enough right uh but yeah so he's been tapped they're gonna we'll get a thunderbolts movie at some point not much details revealed but this is interesting because we know we had talked about this before when i think when we're talking about uh when a soldier and you know then take taking this to you know your uh, this, well, this direction here's the to thing, some degree. The, Obviously, William Hurst is no longer with us, but whatever. Someone else can take that mantle. The, yeah. the Thunderbolts is interesting because the Thunderbolts originally started off as a, a, when all the heroes, the main superheroes, like the Fantastic Four, the Iron Man, uh, the Avengers, that kind of thing, they thought they were dead. This other set of superheroes, a group of super, superheroes shows up, and they they feel like the Avengers. They're not the Avengers, but they feel like the Avengers. And... They, they saved the world and it was like oh thank god you guys are here like we lost the avengers but we have you and then the big twist in the comics is that group of heroes was secretly baron zemo and the masters of evil pretending to be heroes to gain the world's confidence to take over the world like that is um am- like it blew my mind no one knew it was coming out i was just flipping so sort of like this is stupid this is stupid and when they get to the last page it was like i'm buying this book i'm buying this book right now like that's how good of a twist that was. It it was amazing. And then after, of course, everything gets exposed, a small group of them become heroes. The rest of them stay villains. Obviously, Baron Zemo goes back to being a villain. And then later on, the government adapts the idea of the Thunderbolts and makes them almost like a Suicide Squad, which is like they get the most dangerous supervillains and we will take time off your sentence. You know, sure. the explosives in the head, all that kind of stuff. But you have to go out there and you know do these crazy missions and it was because of secret invasion when the thunderbolts were being led by norman osborne norman kills the scroll queen at the height of the war the um that like uh, makes the rest of the scrolls give up and he gets not the government trusts him so much that they make him the new head of shield which he redubs hammer and it becomes craziness um i don't know the extent they're going to do this but there have been like small variations to Thunderbolts before. There was a Thunderbolts where Hawkeye led the team. There was Thunderbolts where Winter Soldier led the team, trying to uh, 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 rehabilitate villains. So they mentioned like a handful of people that might be in the show in the movie, right? You know, uh, they said like uh, uh, the Abomination makes sense. They said uh, <clears throat> Baron, uh, Baron Zemo, uh, obviously. Baron Zemo, which obviously because you've done the Thunderbolts, you got to have him in there. Sure. Uh, they mentioned the Winter Soldier, which makes sense because he was sort oh, right. of like their sure. drill sergeant, uh, parole officer, mm-hmm. making sure they were on the straight and narrow. Um, they mentioned uh, uh, the uh, the new Black Widow. Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, Florence Pugh's character. I forgot. Florence Pugh's character, Yelena. right? Yeah. Yelena. Pro. So there's a the, the the mention that Val might be like their version of uh, uh, of Nick Fury. Like there's a bunch of little things there. Um, 
I would like if you remember the Avengers, you had Thor, Iron Man, and the Hulk, and Cap as your primary powered characters, right. and then you had Black Widow and and a Hawkeye as your regular people. I don't think the Avengers should have more regular people than super powered people. Avengers the only two or, super powered or Thunderbolt. And, oh, and the Thunderbolts. Oh, okay. Sorry, Thunderbolts. <laughs> and because uh, I like. I like the abomination. They said the ghost, the girl who played ghost, like that's cool. I like that. And 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 oh, uh, when you're soldier, right, essentially right. you're like a super soldier, so you know it'll count. But then everyone else is just regular. I'm like, I don't want just regular. I want give me like two or three more power people before yeah, you go is, make the. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, I'm kind of curious where they go with this. I mean, I don't want to see like a we've seen the Suicide Squad, and I don't think they should do something like that per se, but I'm, I'm sure that the similarities are going to be drawn, obviously, right? These, obviously, these, these obviously. villains or whatever you want, anti-heroes or whatever, and they're working for the government, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, if it's more human, it's going to be more like a street-level kind of thing, which I suspect that's the way they're going. Which, uh, I guess. to me, would be, would be a waste. You, like, you don't do that. With, like you got to go right. into like, these big, I agree. Like, and I guess, dark, yeah. complicated... I think once yeah. we know who the cast is or who's going to be in it, I think we can... Okay, this is where they're going to go. Because you're right, but there are more humans, for sure, street-level... Maybe I have my abominations there as the one muscle guy, you know. You always have the one guy, right? The king shark, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, I see street level stuff, which is fine. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't excite me. I'm sure it'll be good, but I'm not like, oh my god. I, you know? I, I, I would like something where like uh, three characters I would like to see that would be a very big surprise, but I think it could work out. Um, either Baron Zemo or. Scarlet Witch. Zemo's a, a, a must on this. Uh, yeah. I'm not sorry, not Zemo. Yeah. Uh, Baron Mordo. Baron Mordo. Oh yeah, Scarlet Witch. Okay. Or Scarlet Witch. Like as a, for an, a magic visual effects mm. person, I would like to see that. Uh, also, get a scroll. Yeah, you may, and that that could be. It. I mean, who, I mean, because we got you know secret war, secret invasion coming soon. So right. Who, oh, and they also said he was agent is going to be a potential too. So you know, you have that Cap analog. You got the Hulk analog. There oh, is no right, Thor. Right. Yeah, yeah, the, yes, right, the other, yeah. There yeah. is no Thor analog, but like, uh, uh, you know, you would have. Uh, uh, that's why I said like a Ben Mordo could be your Thor analog, you know, that kind of thing. Or Scarlet Witch, you know, they thought she was dead. They found her. Now she's got amnesia. So yeah, you could do okay. that, and then you have a like you have that. a way out. So I mean, I, I think, stuff like that. I, I heard Mephisto. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mephisto? Uh, set him free. But yeah, so this looks obviously this is a couple years away. I don't think we're gonna get any of this anytime soon. It's greenless, so I'm sure we'll talk about it more probably next year. I don't. I mean, I know D23 is coming. I'm sure we're gonna get something there. D23. I suspect there'll probably be more Black Panther stuff than anything else. Oh, um, sure, sure, for sure. Um, I mean, some Blade. I think that started finally started shooting from what I hear, or start shooting July 4th. Uh, oh, okay. Finally, after like eight years announced. Uh, yeah, so. Let's see, but it's interesting. It just could be really cool, or it could be just bland, right? Depending again, if it's more humans, eh, okay. Yeah, I'm I mean, saying it can't be good, human, but you'll get it. You know, you it'd be good, but you'd be like, it's a much, it's a much slower scale. And if you're right. going to do Thunderbolts and what they are, if they have when they're thought of, they're usually associated to these really big, bombastic, twist and turn kind of stories. I would like that. Yeah, for I, this. I gotta think there's more humans. Gonna be kind of more kind of espionage kind of thing, which is fine, but. Eh, so, you know, even if they make it possibly, I think that's more. I think it's better suited for TV. Like if they done like a yes. series, Thunderbolt series, I would yes. have bought that, and I think that would have been cool as a movie. I don't yes. know. I'm not sure. Um, but let's see. So now more movie news being announced, and we talked about this last week, and that's the Joker two. We speculated, yeah. we got the title, but apparently there's more news is coming out. And this, this is fascinating. I kind of like what I'm hearing here. It's bizarre. But in a good way, of course, they talked about Lady Lady Gaga being in talks, which means she's not officially in, but in line to become, uh, from what all reports say, uh, a Harley Quinn. That, you know, yeah. Which, which, let's stay with that first, because I think that's a really good choice. I like Lady Gaga. She's done really well. I do, too. Stars Born, she was great. Uh, Gucci, the movie was okay, but she was really good in it. She can act. Yeah, she and, put the effort. She put the she effort. She put the effort. And, and, and listen, she can sing. We all know that. I get it. Um, but yeah, that's that's an interesting choice. I, I, I never ever would have thought her is Harley Quinn at any point, but now they brought it up. You know what? Particularly in, in this world that they've yeah. been, right? I think that is really inspired casting. It really is. That, that's like, wow, that's interesting. I never would have thought that. And I, and I think it makes 
perfect sense. And, and especially because she's like from Jersey, so oh, she yeah. can go, Mr. J. Yeah, like, you're right. Like, it has that she accent. Just tap yeah. into her little Gucci-ness, a little Jersey-ness, and like, oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah we're going to do the thing. She's very so, eccentric, like, so she kind of pulled that off to a certain degree. You know what? I uh-huh. did, that, could, like, that was like, wow, I like that choice. And we talked about whether yeah. she want to hold a uh, full year do whatever's title Miss my name is Spinanti, but the, you know, the, the shares that coast between two or more. And we talked about, oh, Joke and Harley Quinn. Okay, that would make well, sense, But we almost right? said Harley Quinn would be uh, the immediate mm-hmm. given, but, right. like, would it be cool to see other sure. versions of it? But they, we stick, the we, immediate, they could meet. It makes perfect it, sense. It, it could be, who knows? But now we know for sure. Okay. I mean, listen, if you have, like, if Lady Gaga is an option, that you go there. I mean, oh, that no, makes no, sense. No, that's no, money no, in the bank. Absolutely not. Like I said, I, I, heard, I was like, oh, man, that's a really good choice. And I'm sure this, was, this has been talked about for a while, which lends to the fact that, you know, Joaquin knew what's going on, what the project's going to be, and he's like, I'm all on board, right? Which he normally doesn't do. So that's awesome. And then the second thing well, here, which even makes more sense why they brought her in, is because what is true now against the reports say that it could be somewhere in lines of a musical, which Lady Gaga obviously fits that clearly. But I'm like, weird, not everyone's choice, cup of tea, but you know what? I like that idea a lot. You know, people always say, oh, these superhero movies all feel the same. Right. Now this one, right. this one is like, you want different, we're giving you different. And there is, there's literally no better character to do different than the Joker. The Joker oh. allows for every misconception of reality yes. as an option. Yeah, and this is a bold and I think it's a great idea, to be honest with you. I'm, like, I'm not huge on musicals. I do like some, some I know, fine. Well, we saw a, a quick snip in The Boys. South Park, bigger, longer. On yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, we all saw, time. I don't care what you say. <laughs> we Book saw, of Mormon right underneath, we, but same the guys. We saw The Boys do a quick little musical number, which really worked. We'll talk about that in a minute. But So that gives me the idea this stuff can work. Right? I'm, not, I'm not saying it's going to be a full-blown musical, but I think we're talking about the perception on different realities, them doing it. With the conceptualizing it in a music song kind of thing really works in this film, right? When they get deep into the weeds, break down the song, give us all this weird shit that we know Joker's probably thinking in his head and most likely Hardy Quinn. I think that is inspired. And you're right, something different, right? Don't give us Joker too, like the first Joker again. Do that. We're, we're, but the, 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 the worry was, oh man, if they do a Joker too, how much darker is that right. going to be? It's gonna be the same like, thing, is right? it going to be like such a slog? You're like, oh man, life isn't worth living. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> like, and nothing makes the worst parts of humanity easier to digest than a happy song and dance. Yes, it's like, a great juxtaposition between the just, yeah. you can take that I mean, somewhere look, in that. We, Queens yeah. Under Pressure is about yeah. people giving up and committing suicide or living on the streets. And it's a great song, happy song to listen to, but it's all about the fact that everyone is about to break. Like, that is how Joker 2 should be. Joker 2 should feel like Under Pressure. It should feel happy and joyous, but everything you're seeing and the lyrics to the words are breakers. Yeah, man. And I think yeah. that should be the way it should I, go. I'm, now, I'm, now I was like, okay, I'll see it. Now I'm, now I'm excited about the film. I'm like, I like this idea. I'm not sure now everyone's going to be into that. Fine, I get it. But man, yeah, this is a good, you're right, give something different, unique in the world, which we see, we've seen it all. Not I've seen it all, but we've seen a lot of the same stuff. And it's fine, we like it. But every so often, Joker 1 was different than what we normally used to, right? And now this one's right. really even more different than that. <laughs> so I'm on for I think that's a genius idea. If this is all true, which I think it is, yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm on board. And friend. if yeah. they do it right, if they find that special secret sauce combination yeah. where everything just like this is, it's going to be yeah, really, really, really good. This could be just bonkers, but right? now they can go bonkers yeah. and it fit with the story. Oh, absolutely. Fine. And I, I, so I love that absolutely. idea, right? I, kudos to them, yeah. man. They're great casting, great idea. I, you're right. And they, this is a way to do Joker too. This is exactly what they should do. All right, so I, I'm all for it. I'm excited. So well, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Let's see, man. You know, we'll, we'll give credit to the David Zasloff because he's in charge now and he's, you know, slicing and dicing his way out of Warner Brothers, right? You know, he's getting rid of this, getting rid of that. But now he's allowing you, stuff you, to come in that should come in. You merge with Discover and Discover shows you, we're going to show you a whole bunch of things you didn't even think about. Like, this is it. We're going to discover <laughs> yeah, new ways to yeah, start yeah. the superhero movie. So, yeah. This is the beginning of yeah, it. Yeah, this so. is the kind of thing that makes me excited about, okay, where Warner Bros. DC is going down the road, right? Despite the flash. And that's not Zazaf. He wasn't there. Uh, so, so either way, so look, Star Wars, <laughs> Captain Kennedy, you can make a change. It's okay. Um, that being said, let's go to another property, which I think we're both excited about. Sandman. Yeah, it's coming August, uh, pretty soon now, a couple of months from now. Um, end of August, I think it's end of August. Right, end of exactly. August. I, like I said, this, okay. is a, this, this year has been crazy for nerd stuff. We, you know, Stranger Things coming, well, coming and going again, coming back. 
the boys kicking in. You got Umbrella Academy next week. I'm sure we'll talk about that next week. Um, now, we, you know, Game of Thrones and uh, Lord of the Rings and all Sandman. So, your yeah, trailer dropped. It wasn't that a big, but, you know, a huge trailer, which is fine. I don't like to get spoiled too much. There's too much Im- too many images. But, uh, I, my, listen, it looks really cool. My only concern is that, listen, they, they, the last two attempts at this kind of stuff with Jupiter's Legacy and Kyle Bebop didn't work for them. I'm not saying it didn't work. It didn't work for them. So I'm hoping this is I better will say received. It's than very them. different. The circumstances this, are because this is the guy who created uh, 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 sure. Sandman yeah. is the showrunner Agreed, and yeah. an executive producer. Mm-hmm. So if, if you're going to get the most from the cut yeah. of the of the book, that's what you do. You get the guy who created it making all the casting and general world building choices. And here's the great thing about the Sandman is that the Sandman, you could, the, it's, the stories are very small. They're not like, oh my God, the alien. Oh, yeah, it's very he, much yeah, about human savior psychosis or and the understanding yeah. Yeah. and dream and magic subtleties. And you can make that without a really big budget. When everything is about oh, true. the illusion of a dream and things shifting and camera angles and like, you can do that real. So to me, I'm actually really excited because the practice, the, the, when you do need CG, it's for such small, compacted things that you that you could just do like a, a room of like a, a scene of two people talking and then one guy takes off his sunglasses and he's got a mouse for eyes and you just have it for that moment looking cool. Then you put the sunglasses back on and you're back in and you're like, now I know it's there, but I don't need to see it. Yeah. And that makes it much more... My that, that that character called the Corinthian. He's actually in the in the series, yeah. so it's very exciting. Um, so there's, I think this, especially for the for for a season one, Netflix can handle Sandman. There is one storyline from the original run where Sandman goes to hell, <coughs> and the great thing about hell is you could show hell as a fiery landscape, like an over the shoulder shot, but then it could re- be contextualized to else because Dream is an endless god. So he sees it differently. So you don't have to have that big booming effect the whole time. So stuff like that is like, it works for the first season of Sandman. I know when, when things are a little bit more spirally and crazy in the dreamscape, you might need a bigger budget, but that's not until like, if you're going to pace it out like season three or four. I think right now, it is a sweet spot where budget meets story yeah and, and netflix and yeah. i think that's a really good idea was, i trust netflix you know they, they don't always hit obviously but this this story lends itself really well to netflix it really does i i i'm hoping this is more umbrella academy than what we got with the cowboy belt oh and, it's and, and, definitely I, and i think it is I, I think it is i'm getting the vibe for whatever that's worth but i, I mean i, yeah, I, I love the story it's not so, about right. story but the yeah. the weird vibe right. that umbrella academy gives you mm-hmm. it's exactly this a little more serious right okay yeah obviously yeah, a little more yeah. serious but a very weird world where you're trying to understand what you know versus what you're seeing it it does add to like what is it going on exactly what is the, the real meaning of this it's, it's that's what sam man is yeah. i mean and, and then they're not afraid to go dark which is great because the story no, needs no, to no. go that route right like you couldn't you couldn't do this in disney plus right you just not, not the way Absolutely. it should be um so i'm ex- I'm really looking forward to it. i'm excited about this one man i fingers crossed dude i know both i know you're a huge uh, sam man fan so huge sam yeah man. i i worked at a comic book store when you know, I when when Sam was finishing, and the amount of people who were like just distraught that the, the Sam was coming to an end with issue seventy five, <laughs> and I'm no spoilers, but kind of spoilers. One of the most amazing things that Neil Gaiman does in the Sam run is that he essentially revisits four moments in time, but told from different aspects and perspectives that we weren't aware was happening when we first read the story. So really, the Sandman journey is only four moments in human time. Oh, right, right. And when you realize that, it's one of those like, what? Like, it's yeah. such a brilliant master really class. I think they, and they, they structure really frame. It's just four or five good seasons of this. Probably four. I think four would be a nice sweet spot for this show like this. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't wait for this. Neil Gaiman's great. Um, speaking of good stuff, let's stay with, I think God, no more Kenobi. Um, let's go Ms. Marvel. Right, Disney Plus. Why not? A show mm-hmm. we both liked off the gate. Yes, yes, episode yes. Episode one and episode two. Nothing's changed for me. Very cool. Very absolutely good show. You know, different. You know, different kind of vibe. We're not getting this. You know, because I, you know, I'm only complain. It's not really a complaint. But the only thing is like, okay, we still haven't seen the villain yet. That normally would be a complaint. 
right? Like where is but it? But this show, right? It's not I'm a, much more interested in her journey versus right, the, the back. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm okay with it. Right? Normally I would say, well, okay, where the video? We have six episodes only. Let's move on here. In this case, I'm okay with it because it's, it's really a character story in her, right? Her coming to grips with who she, now she is a person, but a superhero, but now her friends and her family. That's all good, man. It's really cool. It's very kind of a more intimate show than we used to see. Uh, I, I I I love the fact that uh, that we got to go to the journey of her like being smitten for the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. and 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 how like she, the it, does the world and there's the way she's interacting with the world. I, I love the text message exchange still to this day. One of my favorite scenes is when she's out on a date with that kid that she met, and her brother finds her, and he has to pretend to be oh, Pakistani but doing a bit of being, being British. I'm like, oh my god, that's that so funny. Yeah. So so yeah. it was great. It was a legitimately an enjoyable yeah. scene. The girl plays Miss Marvel continues to be just Charm City from top to bottom. Yeah, I mean, she, she really is. I mean, she's so like her. she, yeah. like, like to me, she is officially in the category as uh, Robert Downey Jr., Oscar Isaac, and Thor under the direction of Taika Waititi. Like, it is just really charismatic and Look, charming. That's fine. You know, so, that's fine. Yeah, a, a personality. Yeah, something no, like no, you're not not into the. But like, there's there's sort of like this kinetic like no. like I, I if I if I could I'd hang out with you like you are seem like a fun person just on the way you're portraying his character, she's officially in that level of the of the of the most charming of characters. I mean, I, um, I still want to allow her to go to London at 14 years old. Oh no, definitely said. not. No, no. <laughs> I I would treat I would treat her exactly the way her mom is treating her. You kind of exactly. Like, see, her. when you do that, yeah. that's what that, that that's the kind of stuff that doesn't happen to your kid. <laughs> Let's, let's, exactly. let's be clear they, uh, they just get superpowers they don't get which is great we, That's how everybody wins in that scenario too um, but, but no yeah and, but, oh, and, and, and by the way one of the best moments of, of the series um, is when she's helping her friend campaign for the Muslim council mm -hmm. and you're seeing her go to the market and seeing all the different clicks that was funny like yeah. god damn it was that not like I know nothing of the Muslim culture because I'm, I'm, most of my friends who are Muslim I are are like are, are removed this. I, I know them very lightly. I did not know that th this dynamic of what you saw the types of groups of people as uh, a, a, a minority, as an as, as someone that comes from a very different culture, uh, I could relate to that. I could see all the clicks on the subversions of, and I was like, this is this is. I really really enjoyed that. And then yeah. her saving that kid, which was awesome. But then her ADD imagination gets the better of her, and she has to like scramble to save that kid from falling. Like that was that was great growing pains of being a superhero. I enjoyed all of that. That was like super fun. None of it felt forced. None of it was like, oh, now this. Ha I was like, oh wow, that this is her mo. Okay, and just taking that in. Great, great, great scene as well. What do you think? What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I totally agree with you, and 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 it almost feels like. Like it's not a super like if you were taking away this, the Miss Marvel stuff out of it, this would have worked perfectly. Yeah, they, it, like this was showing Netflix sure. about this, and and this is a show similar to that's called uh, Never Have I Ever. I think I'm not saying it wrong. That has again a um, Indian girl or whatever, and and a family and all that kind of culture. So it, it reminds me out of that show. That's a really funny show. But yeah, they could have you can literally take that away, and the show would still be funny, entertaining, entertaining, right? Just some nerdy kid that goes to the Avenger Con and her family, and you could just stuck with that, and I would have enjoyed the shit out of the show. And that's what makes the show so it is, interesting, right? It is a, such everyone in this episode, everyone in this show, is charming in a way without it doesn't feel like it's trying too hard. Yeah, everyone is charming. They have their shortcomings, obviously, but they're all very like to me. One of the things that I was like, okay, here's a cheat on a script is the minute the mom gets up from the dinner table, the dad is telling everyone the mom's deep, dirt, dark, oh, yeah. dirty family <laughs> secret. Like, okay, now that your mom's not around, you know everyone hated her <laughs> grandmother. They called her a witch. I was like, wow. That is, I understand you only got six episodes. You got to work this in, but that's hard work. So, but... <laughs> I forgave it because the rest of the show is so much fun. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to let you get this cheap. Go, no, put course. it out. Yeah, it, and, you know, what, and nothing's perfect. Let's just be clear. But no, yeah, you're right. But, the, but speaking of the father, I think he's great, by the way. Um, oh, he's yeah, great. He's, he's so good. I just, I just, it's just a like of a Charlotte Wright. Even the mom, as a the, pain, yeah, she is, particularly from a teenager's point of view. She's not bad, dude. You know what hey, I'm saying? I had, yeah, she has I, moments. I had such an overprotective mom when I was in high school. I relate mm -hmm. to this. That she's she's very cool as long as it's on her terms because she worries about you and your safety. Sure. I understand. Like I get people are like, oh, that mom's kind of well. Like no, that mom is kind of on point. Like that is from 
from a from a overprotective person who had a mom. I'm like, you know, that mom is real. She's out there. And oh, she doesn't there. mean that, out there. but yeah, she yeah. is out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't listen, especially in our culture, right? We know moms are very old fashioned, right? Particularly kids, yeah. guys our age, you know, we grew up that way and apparently mm-hmm. it is what it is, right? Um, but that, so I, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. And it makes sense. And I'm, 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 and the Indian culture, uh, Muslim culture is like that. It really is. I've known people and, and the moms, are, the very, parents are very strict and they want this and this and that. Everything's, you know, planned out for them and they arrange marriages. All that is legit. That's what that happens but, all the time. But, but I have to interject to say this. How great was it that that in spite of all this, there's that moment where they're like, you know, if it wasn't for Jermon Joey Slippery, you would have wet beard. That never would have met. I was like, wow. That was pretty really funny. The Prince of Jersey? I was like, oh my God, yeah. That, I mean, that, that was this. really, really cool. I, I forgot about that. You're right. That, that was that was genius. I was like, oh, that, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> that was great. That, was that great. made him yeah. feel like people. Yeah. Yeah. And I was more like, I'm going to throw up. That's <laughs> right. disgusting. No, that, that, I that, never that. want to hear my mom <laughs> say Slippery when wet while talking about my dad. Blah, like that all was, that was that was great. it's almost like a it's like a sitcom so to speak right you look yeah, yeah that's what it is and, and like i said that's why i don't mind the whole venom thing and I, I don't care it's fine and, and i hope they don't really force that in there either now i'm hoping right. i hope yeah, yeah. it's like, i think my only concern is that they may now try to force that in and make the typical t- typical superhero movie a show i mean so so far they've done a brilliant right, job of, of just slow pacing uh, and, d- and doing and I hope their they, version they just, of yeah that. i hope they just st- stay the course right? i don't want to see like last four f- five and six like all of a sudden here's a villain and the big fight well i mean listen it you is, don't need it, it you is, don't need it you know it, it you don't need it it is marvel so there may be a, a thing where the last episode, but if you save it to the last episode, I'm good with it because guess, but, but you that give was me like, so ugh, much. I don't know. I mean, you give me so much, and it, of course, and I, and I don't feel like it's going to be exactly like outstanding because they're they're giving you Marvel in a in a slightly different way, mm-hmm. which I'm enjoying. So if you have to lean in hard superhero beating the villain at the end, as long as you do it your version of it, I'm be yeah, super yeah, excited. If, if you give yeah, me the stays, Marvel yeah. version about it. I will like it, but I will think of it, I, I, I will consider it a downgrade from what Correct. episode one or two uh, giving. But I'm yes. still in because okay. it, yeah. you guys always do it well. It's whatever. But yeah. if you can give me your version of that final fight, sure, I, I can. Yeah, it's, it's not typical Marvel stuff we see. You know, it's, again, a lot of a lot of these shows and movies, the third act's kind of similar. I get it to some degree, right. but this show this show's not leaning towards that. So I'm excited to see what happens. But so far, listen, good show, man. I really, I've, I've been surprised, yeah. pleasantly surprised by what I've seen. So kudos to. As them. of right now, I'm really excited about seeing her in the Marvels movie. Like I feel like she's gonna bring a lot of fun to I that think movie she, now. She, she will be the personality that Brie Larson is. Not that's not Brie Larson's fault, but that she hasn't really displayed yet as Captain Marvel. We haven't yeah, really I seen think that, so right? Too. And I think having her right. there will bring that to that to that to that team. That makes me, I so. now I get why they would do that. I can totally right. understand that, so, which makes perfect Charm sense. City. I yeah, mean, exactly. the girl who played yeah. Photon from Wanda, she's 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 she is a solid, likable actress. Sure. Miss Marvel, charming till no point. And then you have Brie Larson, who is strong but has not given a lot of personality. But I think if you make all three of them work together, they will bring the best parts right. out of exactly. each other. I think that that's a really good idea. So, yeah, that, that yeah. was just a why now I get it. Why is the decision on, yeah. the, on the part? Absolutely. So, um, Last, the main appetizer. Oh yeah, Come, we know what this is, guys. The boys. One of the the best boys. On TV. Episode three. We'll talk about episode three and four. You know, not this great detail. We'll talk about it. But I do have a gripe, though. I got a bone to pick gripe? with the boys, and I love me some what? of the boys. I really do. But very disappointed in episode uh, four. Um, hugely disappointed in episode four, because listen. Speaking from a Latino, right? Here we are. We got we work so hard to put ourselves in position, right? Those minorities know what I'm talking about. And the world of the boys is no different. You know, we have Latinos, we have African Americans all trying to rise to the top heroes and others. We got A Train, of course, rising to the seven. And here we are finally, the Latino community finally was given some respect. We got a Mexican hero here, what is it? Supersonic his name. He gets yeah. in, into the seventh. The, the pinnacle, right? Of heroes. Now one of us is there, and what did they do? They throw it all away. They wipe him out just as quick as he was ushered into glory. He got ushered out the door. Thanks, but no thanks. And now we got no representation. The seven. 
I'm upset. I'm disappointed. I expected better, man. I, you know, I, listen, I really did, listen. You know, like... The minute, here's the thing. <laughs> A-Train is speedster. I know he's got every problem with his powers right now. I think he's on the verge of losing him. Yeah. But there's no way you could have two speedsters, even if it's a former speedster and a new speedster in the same team. So I said, I knew, maybe they introduced him. I said, either A-Train or Supersonic's dying soon because you can't have two speedsters in. You're just not. So the, the fact that they wiped out the guy they just introduced was a bit of a heartbreaker i agree but i don't know what to it say does, i don't know what to say everything that a train's <laughs> been doing about like like uh, basically buddying up to homelander and like trying to spin no, himself i get it and that's cool but i'll and, say this listen as a character arc it's great it is but i just want to represent listen we got women on the seven right we got white folks on the seven we got african american on the seven more than one, they could have just got an A train and made room for the. I'm just saying, well, or oh, Black well, Noir. Well, I mean, I, I'm just saying, make it more even. According, That's what I'm according to your logic, you should also be mad that they killed the girl who was like their version of Scarlet Witch because they're against redheads. So really, well, well, it's against yeah, yeah, yeah. Hispanics and redheads. If a redhead has a complaint, I'm all ears. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not as connected <laughs> to that. But I get the argument. Uh, but, but, but that the Crimson Countess. The but Crimson that Countess. notwithstanding, Merch. episode four was I thought one of the best episodes. Episodes. Um, it was really good yeah, of, of of this season. Maybe the best episode of the season. Um, I mean, the, the nutty. I mean, the whole the nuttiness is there. The nuttiness with the the dildo scene and all that shit was fucking awesome, right? Oh. And come on, but just the story itself and where it was going. Okay, I, I I'm digging what we're getting here. You know, so we're signing notwithstanding. Um, but yeah, you know, Homelander is still incredible. He's just so good, dude. I mean, this episode, Homelander. Is flipping emotions on a dime, and yeah. it is terrifying. It really is. Like, so good. So good. So, so good. And, like, has there, has that dude been, been nominated for an Emmy or anything at all? Because that guy is, I like... Don't, I don't think so. I This season, he... I, man, I say, so yeah, <laughs> he should, because, I mean, he's just... Dude, God. So like that. This like this is his season. Like, yeah. it, he was Homelander was great. I, I, I don't even know the guy's name. I keep forgetting. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he was great at one in, in season one. Season two, I thought adding the whole uh, like sexual attraction with Stormfront was uh, a, a big turn for the guy. Mm-hmm. And I thought like, oh, this is like they hit that level. And this one, it's the it's the cracking of of himself that I'm finding like. It, entertaining like infinitely mesmerizing like yeah. i, I want to see him like break even more even though i know it's going to be horrible for the world like it's i really really enjoyed that so much and uh and uh, uh, seeing butcher um want to take down a homelander so much that he's slowly grinding to this place where you're like that's not what you set out to do right. like what's going on and we, we talked it's, about that like what's going to happen everybody finds out uh-huh. yeah. we didn't get i didn't get i, I episode five honed on that I, I wasn't the reaction i was hoping not well thinking that was right. going to happen but it was, still was to a certain degree uh but yeah he's still taking that them drugs you know i mean I, uh-huh. and oh well not to mention they released um soldier boy out yeah um and i real quick is i know kamiko was her now she's fine but she lost all her powers i don't know if that's Maybe that's something he can do. It's because I, I don't of Soldier Boy. Because of what? It's, be- it's because it's it's because of the blast the Soldier Boy releases. Right. So I cure. Well, I think cures it might be the better word, but whatever. It, it negates their powers. It negates okay. their powers. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to use that for Homelander. I guess. I, I think yeah. that's the only. Yeah. Because here's the thing: in the in the comic books, Soldier Boy ends up becoming uh, a Homelander's like fuck toy. Uh, basically, this bangs him. He's like. I own you. <laughs> like it's like it's like a power play move, and that's how it is in the comics. Okay. So he, and Soldier Boy also did not have this laser power, they, okay. but they they established that radiation negates uh, uh, Compound V. So oh, okay. if he has this generating this, see, and I, okay. you realize okay. that's why the Russians had him because he's they put that compound in him and he was able to survive because he was enhanced. Mm-hmm. And now he's able to take the, instead of having the chemical, it's this person that is negating superpowers. Now, does he have enough to negate uh, our Homelander? Can he negate Homelander permanently? Is he enough just to dwarf him down to like fifty percent to make him like make enough people like jump on him that he can't knock him out instantaneously? Make you know so that now now instead of having going to toe to toe, if you get like six supers, they can take him because his power has been knocked down by half. Like, what is the level? And 
you kind of see that towards the end of the episode where Billy is hooking up with uh, Soldier Boy and they're going ready they, and they have a little crew together now and they're like implying we're going after Homelander. Yeah. But, so there, this clearly like a, we got to take him when he's weakened and this is the, our best option for it. So I, I you're kind of seeing that already. Yeah, I think that's obviously where the, where, where it's going to some point. I, I don't. It's something where like super, and they haven't made clear his powers. I guess. I mean, I guess he's not really homeland well, powerful you mean, per se. You, you mean Soldier besides Boy. being an amazing singer on Solid Gold? Well, that notwithstanding. Well, so was uh, what's his face, and he's long on the show. So, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, uh, Sonic, what his name is? Um, that stupid song he had was still terrible. Um, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, don't know. I guess he's, like, he's he's super strong too, right? I guess I don't, I don't know exactly yeah, what he he's, does. Yeah, he's, he's Captain got... America. He's, okay. you know, but he's not like, Homelander he's level, obviously. No, no, no not nowhere, okay. nowhere. He's, he's Captain America. Okay. He's in Captain America. Maybe a little bit weaker or a little bit stronger by a hair or two. Okay. But, but like nothing where it would be like a, 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 like he doesn't have laser vision. He can't fly. None of those things. Okay. So gotcha. what you're really coming down to at the end is can your new version of power give us the advantage and it's right. it, it, it is it is a hail mary pass if there ever was one well it's not on the only option right um but yeah i guess god I, oh paul riser he's uh Man, now, we paul see riser. now, now he, he's making the rounds in the geek world ain't Dude. he we just saw him in Dude. stranger things and now he's here i mean come on good for him you, I Kudos. really thought after Mad Legend. About You, uh, you know, like he did Aliens. You're like, oh, that's cool. Then he did Mad About You. I was like, okay, you're just a romantic comedy guy. And that's fine. It's good it, for you. You, 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 made your, you, got you made your money. You did like seven seasons of that. Yeah. Like you're you're good. No problem. Yeah. And, you know, Helen Hunt came out of that and she got an Oscar. And Paul Reiser was like, I'm going to chill. I'm going to wait for the projects. <laughs> then Stranger Things. Now he's on the board. Like. Look at you waiting for your moment, sir. Good, Good for, for you. Him. Like, Good for him. That, this is why he's the legend, right? He's known on the show. I mean, he's a legend, but he's solid. And as a comic, he's also a comic. So I, 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 I got I to gotta give props to him. Like, a, a comedian waits for that, that, that time. You got to wait for that pocket and go in. Right and he's, he's doing it. So I got to give credit. He was in the weeds. Still. He was waiting. He pounced when oh, yeah, he to absolutely. So, you know, good for him. But yeah, no, this, this show just... I, mean, I think I keep, so I keep saying I think it's my favorite show. It's probably the best. And, show, and, and by the way, I love the fact that they establish idea that they that in this world, when be, they start to uh, do to manage and create superheroes, they needed a, a department of superhero affairs. Oh, I yeah. love yeah. that's such a stupid, awesome term for like yeah. we're making a bunch of assholes who can't do shit except fly and blow shit up, but they're flying and blowing up all the wrong shit. Like it's, <laughs> I love that. I think it's so much fun. Uh, not led by the deep. Um, yeah. Fucking guy in his cupcakes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now without my dolphin. <laughs> oh, I got it. genius. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I mean, I, I sucks that there's only three left. It really does. Because it's gone by fast. It seems like, yeah, five. It hours. really has. It right? really has. And I think it's because they put out the first three episodes. But the, the first back. three, yeah, that yeah. doesn't help. Yeah, so, but still, yeah. it's like, even still, I'm like, how many three left? Ah, oh, damn, that sucks. Um, but whatever, we know we're getting as the only, well, shocker, you know, greenlit season uh, four, obviously. We knew that. That, that was going to happen, of course. Uh, so I'm excited, man. This show is just, it's just better. But I, and I hear a friend of mine who um, does reviews and stuff, he actually got all the episodes. And he said, just wait till. I was it six or seven? I want to. It's coming up soon, obviously, because only three left. Because it's just absolute. Whatever we we saw before is nothing compared to what this show is in that particular. That's what he said. I'm like, okay, all right. That's 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 yeah. Good. That's little nugget. Like I'm that. like, which episode? I think he said. Seven. I'm like, damn, like two away. Um. So yeah, listen, great show, man. It's just so good. I can't wait to talk. I can't wait to. I know it's gonna end well. I'm not even concerned. This is an anti Kenobi, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, listen, yeah. listen. My my heart as a nerd. My heart breaks out to you because I got a pretty good Moon Knight, and you're getting a pretty okay Obi Wan. I'm sorry that you're getting okay, pretty you're okay. Being very generous. This is this is for me. It's just not good. Um, uh, you know what? I, I I almost want to if 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 no one takes us up on our offer, I almost feel like I want to re-edit <laughs> Obi Wan into a two hour and fifteen minute, and then we'll release it on. Hopefully, we release it on this channel as a as a gift to you, Jose. As a, this is the this is the Obi Wan you should have gotten. I'll take it. Uh, even that, what was that one? Because it reminded me of, uh, speaking of re-editing, that guy, who, whoever, that team, whoever, did that um, the fight scene in episode four when they redid it with re oh, Kenobi and, and Obi-Wan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I really did it. yeah. Something like that would have been fun. Cool. Um, I, 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 well, I, I fuck Kenobi. I'm not talking about that now. This is, we end with the boys and the high note, 
right? So high note. End any show. Super high note, the boys. Episode five, six next week. And them is the Nuggets, Eric. We've come to the end of the show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in the show. We appreciate you guys always and always. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because the more people that like and subscribe, we help some the algorithm. We get more monies and that would be very beneficial to us. We really appreciate that as well. So please continue helping us because we appreciate all the uh, uh, a, a help you've given us so far. And if you want to keep helping us, don't forget to uh, go to our social medias. You can find us on Instagram at NerdSplainingPod or you can find us on Twitter at NerdSplaining underscore. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to share the episode when we post it on the links on the social medias. All that helps. We appreciate it so much. Don't forget, if you want to listen to all our original audio episodes, you can go to ericdasilva.com, E-R-I-C-D-A-S-I-L-V-A. You can check out all the original audio episodes right there on the landing page. And while you're there, don't forget to pick up my album, Adorably Offensive. And it's a perfect gift all around here. And it's great it's to... It's a uh, Father's to, Day uh, gift. It's a great Father's Day gift uh, for the dad who likes to laugh at the inappropriate or uh, uh, at another dad struggling on how to figure out how to be a dad. That is a great father's gift. Don't forget to buy your copy as well. And guys, don't forget as well, if you like this show, don't you can share a bunch of other shows here on YouTube on the Latin Nerd Network, where you can watch Nerd Splitting, you can watch The Watch List, and you can watch Dennis's Choice. We have more shows coming up. I know I keep saying that, but I promise you we're getting to it. We just don't have everything set in place, but we are working towards it, and we will let you know more as you come along, plus other big projects that you don't even know about. We're working on that for you guys. So keep checking out and keep uh, engaging and let us know what's going on with that. I know it sounds kind of like, does everybody else like, oh, like, engage? But it, believe it or not, it's it helps tremendously. We appreciate all the help we're getting so far. But keep telling people about us. Keep doing, engaging. All that is super helpful. We appreciate it. Guys, once again, I am Eric De Silva. This is Jose Romero. We have been nerd explaining. And if you don't know, now you know. Boom. <laughs>